Warren Buffett says, poor people invest in things, wealthy people invest in time. why did you come back into this and why are you now sat in Doncaster in your offices now now sort of uh, teaching people what was the sort of progression from where you were sorry to where you are now like what do I want to do the rest of my life and we made a fairly fundamental decision we don't want to work for anybody else ever so we didn't go into property what is the the one big mistake that you see when when you send your delegates out into the wide world what is the one big mistake that you see that they're most commonly making when they're they're getting into in, into service accommodation and, and, and all of this jazz. The single thing that holds them back the most is they try and do everything themselves. Do you think this will become regulated to fall in line with a lot of B&Bs and guest houses have to have to do to, to, to get open? Or do you think that it's just gonna keep as is? I'd love to get your opinion on this because this is like a pretty big topic at the at present moment in time. Any industry where there are super profits, those profits normalize over time. And one of the ways they normalize is by regulation. So it's inconceivable to me that there won't be more regulation within the next 20 years. If you're, if you're behaving illegally, you're not compliant, you're not paying VAT, you're paying far too much tax, those things are a bit more important than should you have one tail or two tails for me, because that bit is kind of common sense. Our whole ethos, our whole mentality is about professional, compliant, tax efficient. Mm -hmm.